I just, I love plants. I, I don't know how to put that in words, you know, and how to say why. It, it's not why, it just is. Like that came from my family. You know, my mother was a gardener. She loved the garden. Uh, my father was a huge military guy, army colonel. He went to all the national parks in America, in Japan, in Okinawa, California, New York, uh, all over the world. I've always loved being outdoors and playing in the woods and in nature and in the mud and being in the water especially. So one thing led to another and that's how it began. The ocean's definitely been a huge influence. Looking at the water and all the light in the morning when it's like paddling out through a sea of diamonds. It's just a magical time and there are very few people out and it's just you in the, in the water. You're doing that day-to-day -day grind. People don't have time to seize those opportunities. They can't notice it because they're too busy in their day-to-day -day routine. But I'm watching and I'm noticing and getting involved in more things because I know there's opportunity for doers and I'm a doer and I want to keep doing things and I want to help others do things and, and pass the torch to others so that they can do well. I try to look for the unusual. I try to make people look at plants in a way that they don't normally see them. So I paint them with patterns and right off that's like really different and really hard, really hard. Because <laughs> normally it, I can make a, a photorealistic airbrush rose that just looks like a photograph, piece of cake. But everybody else is making realistic stuff, you know? I want it not just real, I want it stylized so that when you look at a flower that I've done, a heliconia from the tropics or the, the cocksburg coral tree from Central America that I, I did in Norfolk Zoo, you may have never seen that flower, and when you see my work, you'll really take notice of it because it's done in a different way. It's not what you expect. I'm not doing anything anybody else has done. I, um, I've come up with my own artistic voice, which is kind of reminiscent of Van Gogh in a way with the linear patterns, but yet there are moments in my paintings that it looks like Hans Hoffman or Jackson Pollock splatters. But instead of the loose, out of control splatters of the abstract expressionist, each and every little minuscule dot and line was surgically placed. None of it was accidental. It's all intentional. I want the, the view of abstract expressionism, but I want it hyper real. Yet when you get close, you see the abstraction. So, because reality is abstraction. It just depends on how close you get before you see it abstractly. I just, I find great peace in nature. You know, when I went through uh, jungle training down in Panama, when I was in the army, everybody was hating it and I was loving it because I was just enjoying all the plant material and it was fascinating because it brings me back to your, where we all come from. I, th I think nature is, is where we all came from and if you don't know where you came from, how can you figure out where you're gonna go?